My name is Charles Roman. I teach first year students about how the brain works in terms of perception, attention, memory, language, these kind of things. And the other part of it is that sometimes it goes wrong in the brain. You can't move your arms or you can't speak anymore. But it can also be more complicated like schizophrenia or autism. That's what the major is about. To me it's, it's fun. Uh, I uh, honestly like the idea of, of what happens in the brain and um, uh, how it affects your behaviour. Yeah, it's, it's fascinating. Sometimes it can be in extremely intriguing. For instance, pr people with prosopagnosia, they have a deficit in recognising faces. And it can be, be as strange that they look in the mirror to ask, who is that person? And they say, I have no idea. I'm really fascinated by uh, the visual perceptive system. The visual system in humans is really complex, um, but we're really good at object recognition. If I look at you, I see you. I know it's a human and I know blue eyes and, and I really see that. Um, and when you look at, at computer systems that specialize in object recognition, it's really, it's still brute force. So if you look 50 years from now, a dream of mine would be to have replicated a computer model of the visual perceptive system that can autonomously recognize objects in the real world. People should study here because we have an excellent education program in, 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 in the bachelor program and our master is unique because we have a two-year master where students get education on the one hand for a year, another full year of research with patients in hospitals. We had different working groups uh, and in those working groups we really focused on uh, neuroimaging. So the, the ins and outs of an, an MRI scanner and an fMRI scanner and uh, what are the pros and cons of an EEG. And we have surgeons who come in and who explain uh, what goes wrong with those patients, how you can diagnose them, how you see it on the CT scan and so forth. So, and we, we actually have videos of these patients so that students can play, look at what it is and how you should test them. Um, when you do psychology in general at, uh, at the university. Uh, I think it's, it's loose. It's, uh, uh, you really can talk to other students, to teachers. Yeah, it's, it's friendly. Um, uh, everybody will listen to you.